Hi, it's Warren from the ICA. Uh, as version 8 comes to an end, we're all waiting for version 9, I thought I'd make a little tutorial on five of the most popular questions I get asked running classes. Five sort of funnies, uh, slightly strange, strange ones with resolve. And here they are. If we're grading this shot here and maybe we've pulled a window shape, we've done a key and then we've gone to our window tab, and then for whatever reason we've left that and we've gone back to shot nine, client maybe want to watch this and we say, oh, hang on, look, the shot looks normal, but I've made it black and white in two and brought the umbrella through in the skin. Why can't we see it? We look down, we can't see any problems. Uh, the reason we cannot see the output here from this parallel node is that we have our highlight on. And this happens a lot when people are often obviously restarting their software and doing all sorts of things, base memory and starting again. It's just that the highlight was left on from the previous shot. So if I turn highlight on there, go back to this shot, it's still on there. And if I come back here, it's still on. It doesn't stay attached to each shot that we are on. So watch that one. This one here, I have two shapes. Look, even I'm leaving it on now. Two shapes, I have a circle turned on and I have a poly turned on here so what I want to do is explain the differences here we get the soft softness highlighted so when I click on this guy I get control of it like this I get a soft control well with the poly you don't get any software on the GUI it doesn't give it to you built in so if you want to get very similar to what you get on the circle just add a value of one in there on the outside softness. One is about the same as what we're getting as the standard default. Obviously this can be changed. It is there and it's sometimes quite hard to determine how much softness you're applying, but it does have it. So add more, you can see how that softness there is graduating through, like that. You've got in and out on the poly, on the circle you've only got an overall click to control the overall while we're on the subject here I have drawn a power curve window turned it on I go here you can see if I zoom that up and here's another one this is an extra one maybe while we are zooming around if you sent a mouse click on your little wheel or middle mouse click a lot of people show it different things if you hold that down, you can move your image around. Now, I had a guy nearly kissed me at NAB when I showed him this feature, and uh, he didn't know whether to laugh or cry. So, wheel, the center mouse wheel or button, but hold that down to move your picture around. Now, you can see that I want to draw around this altar, which is pretty linear, it's quite square, but I've used the power curve because they're interesting shapes. If I want to make these lines straight, like this bottom line here, I do not want it to be curved. I want it to be straight. Hold down the shift key, double click there on that green control point, and the same here. That turns it into a straight line rather than a curved line. Now, I use this quite a lot, especially on pack shots. Sometimes you want the ability to have the bezier softness, sometimes you don't. Uh, the other one that I want to talk about is this one here. This is number five. We have a window of this guy. I love this dark vignette, and I'm going to put a little bit of softness into that as well. So we'll put some actual blur. So I'll do that. So we've got blur on the outside and darkness. I've saved it here, but how do I get it into my power grades? Now what we do, we drag it down into there. And then what we do, we open our power grade and we drag it back up into there. Power grade means it will live with me all the time. Every job I open, it will be there. I can right click and give it a name and call it soft. Yeah, something like that. Like that. And then that will always be there along with my others. Every time I open a session, it is there. That is a few little tips. Remember to uh, check in at the ICA website, icolorist.com, uh, for news of classes and uh, online training. Thanks uh, for listening. I'll catch you next time. Bye.